Now at 6.30, a horrible tragedy in Surprise. A man shoots and kills his own two kids before turning the gun on himself. Tonight, neighbors are stunned over what happened right next door. 12 News journalist Jonathan McCall is in Surprise with the latest details. Shock and disbelief. Just grief. Um, just, just terrible shock and grief. Bill O'Brien trying to make sense of what happened right next door. And unfortunately, this is just a very, very tragic and sad end. Um, one that uh, we don't wish on anybody. Monday afternoon, surprise police finding three people inside of a home near Greenway Road and Bullard Avenue dead from gunshot wounds. Police say the 34-year-old Brent Mater shot and killed his 7-year-old son and 6-year-old daughter before taking his own life. O'Brien says the kids would play with his granddaughter and enjoyed spending time with them. My wife and myself, we, we would pick them up from school occasionally uh, when they needed a hand. Investigators say the children's mother dropped the kids off with Mater on Friday, but didn't hear from them all weekend. After getting a call from the children's school when they didn't show up on Monday, she went to Mater's house and saw his truck in the driveway. Police were called, and after several attempts to make contact, officers finding that horrific scene. Detectives say the couple was in the process of a divorce. Mater was also undergoing treatment for mental health. He was transported for an incident in October of last year. Uh, Mr. Mater was undergoing mental health treatment. It is our understanding that while they were separated, he was going and actively seeking and actively receiving mental health treatment, and that treatment was going well. O'Brien says there were signs the couple was having problems in recent months. There was police here one time that I was home. Uh, they questioned him and they questioned him on weapons. And my understanding is they even went in the house. Dana Martinez is director of domestic violence services at New Leaf. Sometimes for survivors, um, when they've made a decision to leave, that can be the very most dangerous time for them. She says in cases like this, abusers no longer have control of victims and find the ultimate way to punish them through violence. What we find that is common in these types of situations is the person having access to weapons. Martinez says for domestic violence victims with kids, first, remove yourself from the danger, but also get emergency protective orders and emergency custody orders quickly through the courts. In surprise, Jonathan McCall, 12 News. Okay, John.